Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to look at a clutch of carbons. We're so excited to add this gene to our projects. All right guys, so we've been working with a carbon project for about a year with the addition of this beautiful girl that we got on breeder loan from Otto at American Royals. Super cool guy, super cool company. Make sure you check him out online. But he's been working with the carbons more than anyone else, I believe, and he just has an amazing collection of them. It's an incomplete dominant that's a granite type. It just seems really strong. This female right here is the one that we got a clutch from this year. She's a fire carbon clown, and she's still putting back on her post-clutch laying weight. You see the girls don't have to be huge in order to produce a great Great clutch for us. Well, that clutch has officially hatched. And so we're gonna go look at those, look at how the carbon changed those combos because we put it in some of our best clown projects that we really enjoy. And I think it had some pretty explosive results. All right, guys, here's the clutch. We're gonna look at these and just kind of go through all the different variations. And you can help me figure out which ones are the carbons. This is from a Cypress Yellow Belly Special Clown, one of our favorite clowns we've made in the past couple of years. And I was really curious to see what the Cypress and Special would bring into this project. Okay, guys, we're gonna start just as simple as we possibly can and kind of work our way up. So here we have a fire carbon clown right here. It's just like mom. You see it's a really unique pattern to it. A lot of heavy pattern on the head, some interesting banding, and just overall really good contrast. You know, when you add dark morphs, especially granity morphs in the clown, you're looking for increased contrast, increased color, and also kind of just some weird jaggedness and busyness and the little spots here in between the pattern. It's just all broken up. It's really, really pretty. But honestly, for me, taking a step back, one of my favorite ones in this clutch is the regular carbon clown. Because sometimes you have to take a step back to just the standard version of something in order to really appreciate just what it does by itself. And then you can start to work forward and see what all the combos look like. So here is a beautiful regular carbon clown. It has a fantastic pattern. Look at the head on that thing. It's so cool with like a crown in the pattern. It's extremely dark, tons of keyholes, tons of alien heads all the way down with lots of wide kind of like we call eyes in the alien heads and a pretty patterned belly. So this is kind of our starting point right here. And it's just a beautiful kind of launch pad to see if we can find these features in the other babies to let us know if they have carbon or not. So the next one is really obvious. And this is the regular carbon clown here, the special carbon clown. And so you can see the exact same pattern. It's kind of working with itself through, but special has some really interesting pattern elements to it. And so it's bringing a lot of pattern right here into the middle of the dorsal. And special also brightens. And so you see a lot of brightness coming through, but it leaves it dark, which is why I love special so much is because it's I feel like special is good at brightening the bright parts of the snakes while leaving the contrast. And special is always also known for having these really beautiful kind of like pearl white coming up the sides. So the teardrops here are like this really kind of pearlescent white. And we're gonna see that in a couple of the next combos we look at. But this honestly, probably my second favorite in the clutch because it's just so clear to see the result of carbon in the animal and just, just absolutely beautiful. Moving on from the special carbon to the fire special carbon clown and just you can see all the same elements. Of course, fire brings in even more brightness, but you still have the spotting here inside the dorsal stripe, the kind of crazy pattern. The special still brings in the little pearl teardrops all the way down the side and the extra pattern all the way down the snake. This is a really, really pretty animal. It's cool to see those same elements coming through from one animal to the next as we go through these different genes. Next two are our first Cypress combos, and these two are probably the hardest ones to kind of figure out, because I think that Cypress and Carbon don't necessarily play really nicely together, because Cypress already has a lot of weird pattern elements to it, um, a lot of interesting kind of configurations, and I just think that these two would be hard to say. But this one, if I was to guess, I would say it's a Cypress Carbon Clown, probably. It's got a lot of the same elements of a Cypress Clown, but a little bit more busyness and not so smooth. So this one I'm not a thousand percent sure on. And same with this one, but this one is a special Cypress Clown. And you can see how much brighter the special sides are and how much more red it rings in the top. And this one well could be hiding carbon as well because it is a lot busier on the sides and kind of the smoothest we typically see in a Cypress Special Clown. We'll put up a picture there and you guys can tell me what you think. These are beautiful combos, but maybe a little hard to say for sure what's in them. So here we have the Fire Special Yellow Bell clown and I think this one well could be having carbon as well you see a lot of those same elements you see the spotting in here it's just the general shape and look at those sides on there it's a combination of the yellow belly plus the carbon bringing in some really cool edging and this is the most beautiful baby of the clutch just so bright and all
all the genes except for Cypress. So we didn't get a single baby in this clutch that had every single gene. It's a mixture and that's the kind of thing you can expect from your own clutches. It's really hard when you're working with many, many incomplete doms to have them all hit on a single baby in the clutch. But what a fun ride it is to see all the different combinations and try to figure out what they are and figure out where to go next with the project. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the Carbon Project. Make sure you check out Otto and American Royals. Give him a follow. And I got to decide which of these we're sending to him for the breeder loan. But it's always fun to work with good people in this industry. Big thank you to our patrons, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.